Well, a huge part of the firefight on the upriver beacon fire is the aerial support. So let's go back to KXY4's Aaron Luna. And Aaron, those tankers help firefighters get a handle on things very fast. Extremely useful dropping that water from the air, Nadine. And as it turns out, some of those planes are part of the only planes in the world that are operated have run and operated by private companies and not by the government and they're owned or they're operated out of Spokane which is even better for us because they're so close. We continue our firewatch coverage with KXY Force Hawk Hammer and Hawk you spoke to the head of this company and they've stayed really busy the last couple of days. As you can imagine, Aaron, just being out here last night, there were a ton of planes and helicopters being here today. We've heard them buzzing overhead, though activity is certainly dying down. That company, Aeroflight, provided the two biggest planes out here, the Super Scoopers and the Retardant Ships, right here in the Lilac City. It's an unforgettable sight. A giant plane backdropped by a massive plume of orange smoke and flames dropping its life-saving cargo. I mean, when you can save somebody's house or you can save uh, a plot of land, uh, it really makes you feel good. A former aerial firefighter, Mike Lynn, now heads up flight operations at Spokane's very own Aeroflight. He knows what pilots headed into the worst are thinking. There's uh, microwave towers, uh, power lines, uh, wind, uh, the turbulence. There's a lot of factors. And a lot of factors still when it comes to where to drop. They uh, put the retardant just outside the fire. The fire bumps up to it, and it really slows it down. But that's the strategy for the RJ-85s, two of which were called in from Medford to help on the upriver beacon fire, a fire that was a bit too close for comfort for the 140-strong company, which fights fires nationwide. So literally, as I was walking out the door and I saw the plume of fire, was it, you know, it hit home. It was home for us. The strategy differs for the two other super scoopers that Aeroflight had on the fire. Most of the time, the water is going directly on, onto the flames uh, and in front of the firefighters. Those super scoopers filling up at Newman Lake, 1,600 gallons in every pass. I'm doing about 130 miles per hour on the water. A mile or so for scooping, then it's back at it. A busy day, an intense day for aerial crews, but modestly, they say they're just the help. They say it's the crews on the ground that are the real heroes. And speaking with the general manager, he tells me they were just glad to be able to pitch in, help fight this fire in any way they could. Aaron, pretty cool uh, local connection to such a big operation. Definitely, Hawk. It's great to have those resources really close to home.